Hey guys, what's up? So today we're showing top history, 2, 5, 7, 12, 13, and 14. The first tweet is called Pro Keys, and this is a tactical RGB keyboard for your iPhone. This is called Big Stereo Center. Big Stereo Center plays the default iOS icon uh, with a fresh new and lightweight control center. This is called Dyadic, and combine the Today page with the control center with the new gesture for a cleaner interface. This is called TF Did That Say. See that there's pesty deleted comments and posts with, uh, where were without leaving Reddit. This is called LibCS Preferences, and it's all like a preference library alternative. So it's a preference library that doesn't suck. This is called Discord Extras. Add some extras um, features to Discord via patches. <clears throat> this is called Shuffle and Organize Your Settings. This is called Classic Folders 3 by Coolstar. Um, iOS its folders with a modern twist for iOS 13 and 14. This is called Zenera. And it's near the dark and uh, line design based icons handcrafted with iPhone style. This is called WhatsApp uh, Contacy Avatar Provider. So it's an awesome, it's an support for WhatsApp with an iOS 3 Contacy. This is called Sakura. Uh, it's a gradient design based icons handcrafted with iPhone style. This is called the Big Cheese. And instead of 270 plus beautiful high resolution icons, it's exclusive for you to personalize and customize your iPhone. This is called Moonshine, Apple Watch inspired features for iPhone. This is called Altless, a modern alt appless alternative. This is called Tweak Settings and dedicated uh, settings app uh, for low and tweak preferences. This is called Preferred and Modern Preference uh, Bundle Loader. This is called Aquarius and Beautify Your iPhone. This is called Shuffle and Organize Your Settings. This is called YT HD Unlocker and Watch HD Videos in the YouTube app. This is called YT UHDSW and lock 1440p and 2160 resolutions on the iOS YouTube app. This is called YT Yasser. Cross system CMDS, uh, iOS stat, login, password sync. This is called Colorflow 5 and Colorizer Music. This is called Selenium and Snooze Notifications, focus on what matters. This is called Store Switcher 2. It adds a button to switch accounts in the App Store account page on iOS 11 and up. This is called Step Up and change the amount of steps for volume. This is called I Am Lazy and allows you to back up and restore your tweets on iOS 13 and 14. This is called Tweakio and search packages globally from your favorite package manager. This is called Notify 10, iOS 10 styled notifications for iOS 13 and 14. This is called Calm, redesign the lock screen with a new beautiful design and more features. This is called OS Logger and simply detects and prints NS log functions. This is called Swim Miss Suto and beautified notification banner tweet for iOS 13 and 14. This is called App Library Enabler, enable App Library for iPad OS. This is called App Library Shortcut. Um, and do, 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 do. you can access it anywhere. You can access the uh, library, App Library introduced on iOS 14 anywhere. App Library Disabler, App Library Disabler, turn off App Library. App Library Controller, control App Library. This is called Volume Controller and control your volume. This week is called iWall. This tweet is called Rhino. It's a simple, lightweight Instagram tweet with powerful features. You have all these features for the Instagram app. This tweet is called Don't Off. And while well, the block power off, uh, if Facebook like authority does not recognize you. This is called Lib Authenticate uh, Authentication, an easy way to use Face ID or Touch ID. This tweet is called Cool Booter. And only one dual boot and utility for directing 34 two different devi devices for iPhone 4, 5, 5C, iPad 2, 3, and 4. She's called Preference Loaders, lightweight and modern alternative. It's below preferences in style. She's called YouTube Reborn and Ultimate YouTube Customizer Tweak. And she's called Smooth Lock X, gives smooth and clean views to the lock screen. She's called Wasabi, a minimalistic, um, lim a minimalist clipboard manager, integrated with the keyboard. Thanks so much for watching. Catch the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.